so much for doing it. Pleasure. Saw the Amen Corner, loved it. Good, good. Really loved it. One of the first things that struck me, or I thought about before I you know, went in to see it, was like, yeah. how's that going to play on that big old stage? But it really, It does work. I think really Ian, Ian McNeil's did. set is fantastic. The whole thing about having the apartment underneath and then having the, the church on yes. top. So you get a real feel of what it was actually like to yes. live like that, to yeah. be so on top. and not really have that privacy. No privacy. And also with all of the windows all the way around, you mm. really got a sense that, you know, like on a day like today, you open your windows, your neighbour's going to yeah, know if you're out of work, living. if someone's had enough air, yes, if, you, yes, you know if you're having mean? an argument, who's having an argument, mm, what you need to do now. Yes, you know, yes. I really got that sense of that was brilliant. But I want to start by saying, um, you know, one thing that struck me when I was uh, getting ready to see it was I've, I think, you know, aside from the Holby City, Wrong. I've only ever seen you do American accents, so then I started to get a bit of a panic because I was like, listen, this girl better not be thinking she's going to the States anytime soon, you know, like how we've had this exodus with all of these actors. Boy, if I was going to exodus, I would have gone a long time. So, can you sign something? Can we get to sign? <laughs> you know, because listen, you know, baby, people, people just want my kind mom's of reassurance. Here, and as long as my mom's here. I'm okay. Here. I don't mind you going, you know, for a little bit of work and do what you have to do. But I just do think it's really important that, you know, people can get out and see you, especially like at places like the National. There, there is the other, the other side that um, at the moment we're thinking there's. There's us, there's Amen Corner, there's Colour Purple, there's Scottsboro Boys, there's Fences, fences. Races, and you just kind of think all these plays have come along Hello. like the proverbial buses. Yes. And you I just know. kind of think when they're finished, I know. when are we going to work? Will, will that be the cycle? <laughs> will people go, oh, will we work know? again? Do you yeah, know what oh, I mean? Do black theatre you know what I mean? We have, they haven't strung them out, they've like yeah. done them all as one glut. So, but we're, we're glad for But what it has proved is there's definitely an appetite for it. You get in the houses, mm -hmm. you get in the critical acclaim, mm -hmm. and there are more than enough people here, you know, the ready to here, work, you know the I mean? talent, it's told, layered. It, they, they are the people in Britain, mm -hmm. the people are here. I have to talk about your appearance. I will go back to talking about the theatre, but your physical appearance, mm -hmm. because um, when I was watching the show, you start with your back to the audience, mm -hmm. I believe, and you're, I'm you know, just in the, the kitchen, kitchen making up my little grits and doing my little bit. I'm but what happened to you? You've, like, this has happened. You. You've not seen me for a while. Well, I'd seen, I think I'd seen some in between stuff, but it yeah. is amazing that the physicality that you had brought to roles previously, I mm -hmm. think. Um, and, you know, and that was changed, but, you know, it's still you. You it's still me. bring all the other stuff. still me. I'm still me. Yeah, it's so do you want to talk about what you've been doing and, you know, it's, exercise it's, it's just been, it's just a been, magic bullet? No, no, oh, no, no it's been none of that. that. None of okay. that. It's, it's just been a really, really slow process. Mm -hmm. I finished Holby um, and had some time and I love to walk. Oh, so good. I was just able to take the time mm -hmm. and go walking. And then I went to the Edinburgh Festival about, I don't know, maybe eight months or something like that afterwards. Right. And was at a hotel, they had a little lovely gym sauna thing, so mm -hmm. I went to the gym sauna, jumped on the scales and I'd lost a stone and a half. Amazing. And I was like, oh, but I wasn't really trying. I wasn't yes. thinking I'm off to lose some weight. Yes. It was just, I've got the time to walk. Yeah. So I just continued doing that. The only thing I really changed was less wine of an evening during oh, the week. So I still drink at the weekend. Mm -hmm. And I still have your glass of wine during the week, but okay. generally I don't come in have my cup of glasses of wine. Okay. Anymore. So that, that went. And then not doing any carbs of an evening after a show. Okay, God but it's really way. positive and it's really mm. important that people get these messages and they see these messages that if you're going to make change, you know, they're long term, there are no magic bullets, yeah, yeah, an yeah. awful lot of magazines saying, hey, look at how I did it, where, you know, the, the, the lasting changes tend to be, you know, the sort of things that you're talking about. Small stuff that wasn't going to mad me, you mm. know what I mean, I'm not going to try and say to people, yeah, I gave up chocolate and I gave up this, I eat, I love food, yes. I always love food, I will yes. continue to love it, Yes. but it's just, I stopped doing the cards after a certain time of night. Yes. The, the other thing I wanted to talk about, um, I think you're known for originating roles, a lot of roles, um, you know, I'm talking about things like yeah, in musical theatre, Killer mm. Queen, mm. and I mean, Ghost, you know, playing Oda May and, you know, originating. Well, Killer Queen was my first originating West End oh, role. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. No, I've seen a lot of your work over mm. the years. Mm. I was like, this is the best I've ever seen her. This is the best thing I've ever seen her do. And, um, and it was so different. It was, um, mm. you, you, um, confounded my expectations and that's good. always a good thing good. you know because you know people are known for doing certain things mm -hmm. and then um and i was wondering were you approached to play this did you audition i audition. i was actually at a point where i was just about to say yes to color purple okay 
Mm. And that's a show that I loved. That I, I loved the book. I loved the yeah. movie. Then yeah. I saw the show on Broadway. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. Show finished. You know, audience is leaving. Ten minutes later, I'm still sat there bawling. Just oh, loved no, it. Really? Loved it. Loved it. And you know, they're doing it at the Tropic Factory. Yes. And it's just like, oh, and I was so up for it. Yeah. And I was literally in the process of saying yes. And my agent told me that this was coming up. And I came in. I had a meeting with Rufus. Mm -hmm. Chatted, and they offered it to me. So I was in that position where it was just like. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Because it was two two shows that I absolutely love. I'd seen Amen Corner eighty seven mm -hmm. at the Tri School, mm -hmm. and I'd seen it about six or seven times. At a point where there wasn't that much happening with black theatre right. out here, right. especially with plays that have got that kind of level of complexity, depth, no, no. women driven. No. Do you know what I mean? Very few plays mm -hmm. are women driven. Mm -hmm. So you know, for me, Amen Corner when I saw it, it was quite a seminal piece. Yes. Colour Purple is quite an emotional piece. Yeah. And so I was in this, oh, what do I do, what do I do? And then I kind of said to myself, well, look, I just finished Ghost, so I've done a big musical. Okay. Um, I'm known for doing musicals. Yes. So do something different. Yes. Do something that's more of a challenge. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if, if that's a kind of conundrum, quandary, dilemma that I'm going to be left with, thank you, Father. That there is some kind <laughs> know, of dilemma. Right? You know, it's just what like, position not sitting there scrabbling for work. It's like I had these two I'm brilliant really great. jobs. Both roles. great, fantastic roles. Um, this is a question from my daughter. No. She herself is, a, you know, a young star. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I thought she came to How see it. She? She, with me. She's 11. What's it like playing this role? And what do you like most about playing this role? So what these are her most, questions. What do I love about this role? I love the fact that she's, she's not really in the foreground. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? She's kind of... She pivots around everything. Yeah. But she's not really the one that you're looking on. She's not mm -hmm. the story carrier mm -hmm. in that way. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that she is so fiercely supported. Yes. That's yes. what I love about her. Yes. Her love for her sister is yes. is all encompassing. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Rightly or wrongly. And she mm -hmm. knows where her sister's wrong. She's not, it's not a blind love. No. Do you know what I mean? She can look at it and go, Margaret, I can see you doing this wrong. And yeah. mm -hmm. No, I, you know, I thought that was actually very well handled there. And also in terms of the messages and the themes, mm of what it really is to be what I mean, it was like you know, I, I'm a woman yeah. of faith um, and I'm sure the majority of the audience don't have any kind of faith that, that they would claim mm. but you do recognise the, the messages that you know Odessa has in terms of you know understanding mm. kindness meeting people where they are yeah. another thing about this is very strong females I'm, I'm not doing the brothers down no, no, no. Okay, but that's not James, James down, wrote it. That's what wrote James wanted so to write. He wanted to write for the women. For, for the he women. He wanted to give the women a voice. And they were very complex. Mm. And, and actually surprising because, you know, you thought you were getting one thing, you know, with, with certain characters and then they would, you know, turn and act in a different way. Mm. And as an audience, that's a wonderful, yeah. that's a wonderful thing to watch. Especially now, I think, so much um, TV, should we say, or a lot of our entertainment is set up around women destroying mm. each other. Mm. You know, we like to see that. You kind, of, we... you, you kind of get that as well in Amen Corner with the, the sister mm -hmm. boxer and the sister Moore, you know, that right. whole turn and that kind of betrayal right. and, and the backstabbing. But you also, because because of Margaret and Odessa, you, you get that strength yes. of women and having yeah. to persevere and having mm -hmm. to endure and, mm -hmm. and having to go on mm -hmm. regardless and, and doing it without men. Yes. Do you know what I mean? They haven't got men in their lives. They're having to run their families and, and be strong about it. I know. I know. And, and then you've got Sister Boxer, who is married, and it, she runs that marriage, and everyone knows she runs that yes. marriage. Yes. <laughs> and so when it suits her, she goes, like, my husband. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I love about the play. Mm -hmm. It's that, that whole thing where, as a woman, it's the woman's job to keep the family going. Yes. And Margaret's world is turned upside down because mm -hmm. people found out that she left her husband. Had the husband left her, yeah, everything would be fine. A woman trying to do the best that she can for her family in a situation where her man is not there, yes, and when he's there, he's drunk. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? They're losing a child, and he's he's drunk. He's mm -hmm. not there. He's not supportive. He's... And she she leaves. Any woman would have said, she'd say, yes, woman, get it. I know. Get well, on. do you know what? In chat shows we do, when we watch it, kick him to the curb and everyone applauds. But the reality is, but when Margaret she kicked it, him to the curb, um, she kicked the him congregation the was like, no, I don't. I don't. It's finding so. out that she did that, mm -hmm. that's her downfall. Mm -hmm. What's it like working with these women, these, you know, these actors that, that you're working from with? From day dot. From day dot. 
joy. The, the, the men are lovely. The women are gorgeous, funny, strong, witty. Do you know what I mean? They're just. I love very, them. You're very blessed them. in that because it's such yes. a strong cast and the, and and the that, But that's of what we say, and, and we and say that to each other. Yeah. We say we are blessed on this gig. Yeah, true. But it's not every job that you do no. that you have this feeling on. No. And we have it on this, and it is joy. Just before we finish, um, I just want to talk about the audience here at the National. Mm -hmm. um, hands up. Usually, when I come to watch stuff at the National, I find the audience quite a challenge because it's just like they've bust Chichester, mm -hmm. yes, you know, in, into town. Yeah, um, so, I'm, what's it like? Uh, you know, how's it been? How have they responded to a piece like this? Because, listen, I don't care. I don't business. I was laughing. I was, yes, girl. Yes. And yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? That's what you do. But that's me within, but, you know. When but you're someplace how, how like you here, you need to do that audiences. so that they go, okay, yeah. you can do that. Yes. Yeah. And it's it's that Odessa's line where she says, um, you know, what's she saying now? Every time a uh, woman don't know she come no go, and every time a heart will swell up, there's a man. <laughs> yes. like, to have the audience <laughs> react to that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Not you're, you're what I would call the normal national audience yes. of sitting back and going maybe going. <laughs> yeah. There is a, a very strong reaction mm. to that, and Good. I think that is fed by people like. Let's just cut. Cut to the chest. Yeah. That's fed by the black folk in yes. the audience who don't even think about it. It's, it's mm. just verbalised. Yes. Do you know what I mean? It is just the reaction. Good. And because they go with it, mm -hmm. everybody is like, oh, yeah, yes, 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 yeah. that's how I feel too. <laughs> and, and, and it's slowly seeping in. Yeah. Which is, I'm, I'm yeah. loving that. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 She said that. Oh, man. Yes. Yeah. And they're getting into it. And, and I think. I think it's been good for them to have us here. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? For the, the normal audience that is yeah. here to see that theatre can be and should be more interactive in that yes. way. You don't you don't have to just sit back and then yeah. applaud at the end. Yeah. You, you can let the actors know mm -hmm. through the playing that you're enjoying what's being yes. said and that you are involved. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to detract. No. Okay. So that's me. That's my questions. And I'm not going to take any more of your time. Thank no, you so lovely. much. It's been, been a pleasure. It's been absolute an absolute pleasure. pleasure. Lovely. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you, Patricia. Okay. All good?